everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning January 31st, 2023. So what we're going to do here is the first part of your message, and then I'm going to break it down into three groups. You can choose whichever one you resonate with and get extra messages. Also, please make sure that you check out all my other channels. I have various things going on on various apps. All that information is down below. If you want to work with me, guys, I, I listen, I'm telling you now, and I'll, I'll tell you all the time, we're coming up on August 8th. That is the 88 Lionsgate portal. Around those times, sometimes, I get a rush of reading requests. So if you want to get in now, I can't guarantee that if you put it in now, your reading request that I can have it to you by the 8th. But the Lionsgate portal energy goes a little bit before and a little bit after. So regardless, if you want to get that in, do it now. Please <laughs> spare me. <laughs> Don't wait until a couple days before. I mean, you certainly could if you wanted to. But you could do that. You could do the 9-9 portal, the 10-10 portal. That was, uh, that's a big one as well. So angelsouls444.com. Make sure you sign up. Okay. Well, let's get going here. feels mostly positive, like some relief coming in. Okay, so we have seven of earth, seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action. Okay, so we get a little bit of a rest, unnecessary worry. So if things are not just plowing ahead this week, don't be afraid. It's going to be all right. Again, it feels like this relief. It's sort of taking a break, knowing that everything is in place. It needs a little time to sprout. There is some dude outside. I don't know where it's coming from, but he's got a saw. And it's going, <laughs> I can't see him. I was doing readings earlier. <laughs> I was calling him the invisible construction guy because I don't know where he is. But anyway, if you hear that in the background, life is happening around me. What can I say? All right, we have Queen of Fire, confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Are you hearing that? Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. I'm getting chills. Assert your independence and creativity. I feel like some of you are having this amazing surge of creativity. And it could be because something has come to a conclusion. Uh, something is done now. So now you have some freedom. And you can actually focus on things that you're passionate about. It's really lovely. Stretch your wings and fly. All right. So then we have the number 12 here. So that is a very important culmination kind of number. That is... You start seeing one two one two or two one two one often when you are at the end of a soul contract chapter. So be aware of that, uh, and this might be happening for some of you. Awakening Archangel Gabriel, who's also about creativity. Look at things from a different perspective. A temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. So notice this, like pause in action. Um, how did this say? Uh, a temporary standstill. So this is the week where things kind of maybe come to a conclusion. Maybe you're ending one chapter, but there's this sort of like, oh, I need to catch my breath real quick <laughs> and let things happen. And what occurs is you get this whole fresh perspective. So especially if you've been trying to problem solve something and it's just not coming together, rest. And that is when something will pop up for you. Eight of Earth, you're learning something new. This different perspective is shedding light on something. And that will change your course. That will change the direction that you're going in. A skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic, going back to school. So expanding your horizons, that's what it feels like, but you're not quite jumping into it just yet. That There's that. There could be a lot of opportunities uh, coming for you, but again, it's stemming from the ending of some lesson, some, again, for some of you, soul's contract chapter, which is huge. That's where people retire, have a baby, they get married, they get divorced, uh, you know, major, major life things happening. But stay grounded. If you're staying grounded throughout all of this and stay strong, that's that queen of fire, uh, right here yeah the queen of fire if you're tapping into this energy everything will come together as it needs to just don't forget to pick your extra group you'll get more details 
something's going off this week. Ugh. It's like, thank God, okay? <laughs> the number is one. It's rainbow. Connect to spirit in nature. This is blessings. Calmer waters. A calm, beautiful sky. The storm is over. Now, not literally. I think actually storms are going to be picking up here in August. So, you know, just be careful around that. But blessings are finally coming in. You're finally getting some reward, some payoff. Energetically, you are free from something. Now, that might just be, I don't know, maybe you get some news this week about an issue that's been longstanding. It's coming to a resolution. You might also learn something that can help you in a situation that has been sort of plaguing you. There's that. Say it again. Hmm. Reprioritizing. It's that sort of thing where someone might come in and be like, hey, so and so's upset about blah, 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 blah. And you're like, I don't care. And maybe the reason why you don't care is because that person is entitled. They're constantly making themselves out to be the victim. And if you just don't do as they say, then they think they've been wronged, right? So the, you have every right to say no to this person, but there's a release going on. I cannot wait to break this down into the groups. We're going to do that next. Angelsouls444.com. If you want to work with me, get an angelic message, an Akashic Records reading, or one of these portal readings, whatever you want to do, you can ask anything you want, okay? But just make sure you get signed up so I have a chance to get it to you in a timely manner. Okay, so let's get on to the groups. Let's see what else is going on for you. Again, if you would like to work with me, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. I have lots of offerings of various things, libraries of educational videos, spiritual educational videos that I've done over a decade. Of course, there are plenty of other videos on this channel. I'm on so many platforms. Get on over there. Check it out. All that information is in the description box. So let's see for all of you who have tuned in for group one. Let's see what's happening for you. Ooh, there's one sticking right out. Nine of fire. You've had it. Okay. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. <laughs> this kind of goes along. There was a little bit uh, in the general reading where it was like someone might be playing victim, but they're the ones who are being unfair or they're the ones being unreasonable. But because they're so self-centered, they can't, they don't even think about how things are affecting others. So they might try to come at you and say, you owe me an apology for this. And you're just like, here's what, <laughs> right? So this might be a little bit of your freeing up of some energy, shutting down something that's been petty, ridiculous, um, people taking advantage of you, that sort of thing. Page of Earth. Scholarly, dependable, patient, successful, good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. I don't know what this is going to be for absolutely everybody, but I did feel when I pulled this out that there's a little bit of financial relief coming for some of you. Now, this could be like, you know, one of those class action lawsuit settlement checks, like maybe it's a few hundred bucks, but hey. Uh, it took care of groceries and the electric bill, right? So <laughs> it's a little bit of help coming in, but more than anything, it's a, it's a seed of an idea. It's 
from a grounded, healthy, cleared place, realizing this is what I want to put my energy into and that potentially being very fruitful for you. It could be a side gig as well. It's not like your main job. Ace of Fire, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. Oh dear. Okay. So I say, oh dear, in a good way. <laughs> like, so this is telling the story of I'm coming into my power. I've been through enough. I'm not doing any more. I'm going to take the last bit of energy I have to put it into something that might be a new creation for you. It might be a new job for some of you. Certainly a new job, but it's a new opportunity that maybe you don't fully know what to do, or maybe you're a little rusty at it. Like, let's say you used to be a singer, but you haven't done that in years and years. And someone says, Hey, how about we do this project? And you have to train in order to do that, but you're really fired up about doing it. Ten of Earth, I'm telling you, it's good, <laughs> okay? A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic, and then the little things in life. This is gorgeous, okay? This is gorgeous energy here, and this is financial stability as well. This is getting a break, finally getting a break. But this comes through an opportunity. This is giving, like, vintage Christmas. Do you see these? <laughs> Do you see the colors of these cards? Oh, I love it. Okay, anyway, but lovely things coming but it's very very stable so I feel like for example if you work for yourself you end up getting approached by someone who wants you to do some consulting for them or um, maybe you get some excellent new clients who are really nice to work with but this is not a message of just sit back and wait for it to happen you're clear on what you want and you go for it all right, so we have lavender, connected body, mind, and soul. The number is 44. <laughs> Group one, your guardian angels are guiding this. You want to talk about tuning in and feeling the support around you, and what do you need to do to make that happen? Relax. Now, I know I just said, like, you're going to be taking action, but this isn't impulsive, compulsive action. This is grounded, cleared, relaxed. The answer is there. The next step is there. Okay, let me take it. That's what's going on for you guys. Embrace this, okay? If you come back at the end of the week and you rewatch this and you say that never happened, ask yourself, how was I feeling during this week? Was I feeling like I was ready to go? Like I was ready to get out there? Was I ready to try new things? Or was I stuck in my old ways? Evaluate that. But report back. I want to hear about what's happening, okay? I love you guys. Take care. Hi there, group two. Let's see what is going on for you. Just as a reminder, if you want to work with me, angelsouls444.com. Also check out the description box because I have, I've been at this for 10 years. I have created educational videos. I have writing up, although I, lots of things have been going on. I haven't been able to update that, <laughs> but I will get back to that. Lots of courses, lots of things going on. So let's see what's happening for you all who are tuning in right now. I felt this like nice little serene, I'm just gonna tell you right now what I'm seeing. This nice little serene, looks like it's a little out back of a cottage. It's giving, <laughs> I said that. It's giving um, Holly Hobbit. It's giving, <laughs> it's giving cute little strawberries on the vine. It's giving butterflies. Okay, like let's see what's going on here. The lovers. The lovers. Okay, so the number is six in angelic messaging. God, I hope I don't have my, hold on. I did this one time where I was filming and I had my, my desk right up against the tripod. And then it was jiggling the whole time because I was talking too much with my hands. Stick with me. Hi. Okay. I moved my table. Okay, everything's fine. We're okay. We're going to be, we're going to be great. The number six is the material world. So it is bringing things into manifestation in this realm. The lovers, Archangel Raphael, intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. Now, I'm not one to just like, oh, the lover's card immediately means new lover. Like, because you can do that at any time. That's a free will choice. <laughs> but this is a nice energy 
of feeling loved, feeling, feeling cared for, feeling supported in some way. So, and, and having that be in the material realm. So if some of you have been trying to manifest love and it hasn't happened, more often than not, it doesn't happen because you're codependent. Mm -hmm. You're depending way too much. If you're somebody who prides yourself on having never been single, I'll leave it there because I don't want to seem judgmental, but um, yeah, yeah, that's being too dependent on another person. And it's probably on your soul's contract to learn some independence. So I, you know, be careful with this card. Let's keep going before I get myself in trouble. 10 of earth, a very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. What the heck? Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you've been single and you've been wanting love, love could be coming in, but it's stable. Um, maybe there's some family energy around this. Family is, you know, how you define it. Seven of fire. Somebody doesn't like what you're doing. So you found maybe this week you, you're finding your key to happiness, but maybe someone doesn't like your love partner or someone doesn't like, doesn't trust. I'm getting like a heat up my neck. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. For some of it's going to be different for everybody. For some of you, this is like, okay, I've been waiting for love. I'm in a healthy place. And you get with someone, and I'm sorry, but why do I feel like they have some money? Like that doesn't have to be the case. But maybe they are well-to-do. Um but people do not approve. And so you're, you're having to kind of like defend your relationship. Now that's just for some of you. For others, talking to the people who you're always looking for the next relationship. One will probably come in, um, but you're still not learning. Again, it's individual by individual, but um, I don't know. I have this weird feeling like it's temporary. That's what it feels like for some. Okay. So just be aware of that. Again, I don't know why that's coming up because that wouldn't really be what these cards are saying, but it's there. Then we have Ace of Fire, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. <sighs> this can also be the super sexy card some people say. So we've got the lovers, got the Ace of Fire, and then this Ten of Earth is saying this is working out like this has got it's 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 gonna work out for some some of you it's like a temporary kind of thing but for some reason there's a seven of fire that's in the mix where people are um maybe jealous because now maybe you're getting all your good luck coming to you this might also be something that starts at work careful you know i do not encourage cheating I, there's no excusing it away you know we need to be more open-minded whatever if um <laughs> i say ace of fire because it says uh career advancement <laughs> excuse me so if some of you are using that ace of fire energy to get ahead to get your monies oh, i can't pick it up to get your money through a lover listen i'm not touching it okay listen let's, let's get a call card you guys got the weird group and I just hit my microphone because I had to move my table closer. Oh, dang it. So this is a mess and I do apologize to you all. We have Scarlet here. Oh my God, I thought Scarlet Letter. Do with that what you will. I'm not getting myself in trouble. Attract success, the number is seven. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. You're having like the time of your life this week. Probably in money and love, maybe. Career advancement. Just make sure you're not stepping on other people's backs or hurting others in order to get that. The number is seven. So the deal is, it's archangelic energy. If you stay in your integrity, you'll be in this flow. You'll finally, for most of you, right? For like 75% of you, it's finally a payoff. For a lot of soul work that you've done that's going to be for most people i think for some of you who are just hanging on because you think spirituality is a parlor trick it's just interesting you just like hearing about yourself you have to go from relationship to relationship to relationship you can't be alone 
Um, this is going to, depending on your intentions, this could backfire on you. Okay, so just be careful with that. And listen, even as I am saying that, I'm not trying to make it sound like, and you're a bad person if you do it. I'm saying that with intensity because I want people, the world is changing, the energy is changing. I want people to be careful and aware because if we can keep you from learning the hard way, why not? Okay, so we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Hi there, group three. We have had some amazing cards coming out. Let's see what's going to be going on for you. Again, if you would like to work with me, just visit angelsouls444.com. Book your standard reading session. And also check out the description box because I have lots of other offerings. I have been making content for a decade. So there is a decade worth of videos on this channel. Don't worry about the dates. Actually, you can go back and get extra messaging from old videos. So why not? All right. Let's see. Let me tune in for you guys. I'm seeing bright pops of color, like a um, little neon. It's, it feels more like, like the 90s, not like the 90s bright, not the 80s bright. Fun, nostalgic. Let's see. Nine of water. Your wish comes true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. This is wild. There have been, I'm getting chills. There have been some really beautiful cards coming out for everybody so there's some sort of wish fulfillment on deck okay let me straighten these cards out I feel like I was mashing them around too much okay there we go seven of air plans that need revision more going on than meets the eye poor timing this is literally in this uh deck it shows a merry-go-round so something it might be some bit of information something you're learning and it's like oh that's the way out Oh, that's what I need to do. You finally get it, and you can get off of the merry-go-round, which is also to say you can get out of uh, bad habits. It says plans that need revision. You figure out how to do that, though. So not a bad thing. Okay. Eight of water. <laughs> so you're figuring out, you're getting that piece of information, and you're figuring out, okay, that's what I need to do, and then you go off and do it. A desire to move on. The search for something more meaningful. Spiritual and emotional growth. This is an expanse of time for those of you watching this. And, you know, depending on where you are with how well you handle emotional upheaval, okay, <laughs> it's not upheaval in a bad way. It's just sort of like, I'm hearing like, oh, that's how you feel. Got it. Or this could be information of, I'm getting the example of somebody who's been in their in their job for a long time and then quite randomly you hear that the position that you've always wanted to have opened up and now you might feel like okay like you want to rush in but you have to kind of stand back and reevaluate that to make sure that that's the right thing and then there's some bit of moving on ace of fire keeps coming up and it keeps coming up for my private clients too Huh. Huh. Okay. Wait, are we in Leo season? It's a fire sign, right? I don't know. I'm not an astrologer. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's it. Um, an exciting new opportunity. Career advancement. Change your life now. So there's a definite opportunity, I think. and it's But it's the kind of opportunity that you have been wanting for a very long time. Right? And for some of you, this may not be like in a job opportunity. This might be some of you get your book published or you learn what you've been missing in your level of success, right? So I'm in social media, so it's changing all the time. And this would be the kind of thing like, oh, I find out like that's what I've been doing wrong on the back end of this platform. I need to check that little box or whatever. Maybe I learn about that and I get to do that. And it's like, oh, good. Okay, now, now I feel better. I feel more in the flow. I feel like, you know, things are changing. So it's going back and revisiting, but moving on in a different direction. So <laughs> I'll tell you what. It's good stuff. 
Now, I always and inevitably will have people who come back and say, that never happened for me. Well, listen, I'm not in control of your brain. I'm not in control of how you manifest things. I think that takes some deep introspection. I have done things, too, where I've tried to manifest something and it didn't come to fruition. Now, I don't sit there and go, boo-hoo, I didn't get my manifestation. I look at that as a protection and that I need to have some more understanding around what I'm asking for. And when I go into that, especially working with angels, they always show you. There have been times where I've been turned down for a role when I was in acting or, um, you know, I didn't get the agent that I wanted when I was trying to, you know, get a literary agent or to get that role I wanted in the corporation. When all that starts happening, inevitably later on, I figure out, ooh, that one just got charges brought against them. Probably not a good agent. Um, <laughs> you know, or I find out that the director of that show better off that I didn't work with them so on and so forth okay so we have yellow purify your body the number is 22 this is a master number guys and this is the solar plexus purify your body yeah so I would be focused on you know the calm relaxation cleansing and when all the if you, if you think of like negativity as just being or worries ego stuff be mud thrown on you and you just cleanse it off and now you can <laughs> let your solar plexus just be bright. You can express yourself clearly. This is also like if you feel like you have people in your life that you have to tiptoe around and it's to the point where they never get called out and so they're always taking advantage. Now you start kind of laying down the law and saying no. And that frees up your energy so that you can do what you want to do, be who you want to be. You know, this might be kindly saying thank you so much for looking out for me and having your opinion, but I think I'm going to go this direction, right? So keep that in mind, and that's it. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love, and take care.